All right, guys, here's another interesting little lock that Shring sent me in a box of uh, assorted locks. This is a, uh, obviously Eagle. They've, they're long since been out of business, but they make great little locks. This one was made for the U.S. government. This was probably a mailbag lock or something inside of a unit. Uh, I do have two keys, but unfortunately, neither of them work. Yeah, they do fit in the keyway, but neither of these darn things work. So unfortunately, uh, it's not that intact. I am not gonna cut it though. A lot of guys collect these little little padlocks, but let's take a look at it. I don't know if this picks uh, in either the clockwise or the counterclockwise. I don't know which one. It may pick in both. I really don't know. So let's try it clockwise, I suppose. Let's see what we got here. I am going to try some top of the QA action. Let's see if the fat one will fit in there. It will, 1.2 millimeter. And that is the SP14 from Multipick. It fits perfectly, in fact. All right, so let's hold him like so, just for the heck of it. And let's find a pick that'll fit inside of here. Let's try this guy. I think he will fit up around this corner. He should fit. Looks like he'll go all the way to the top. So let's call that one good until we figure out that he doesn't work. Or picks in the other way. Who knows? All right, here we go. Uh, let me count the pins first. I'm counting five pins in there. Five. Yep, got five. All right, here we go. I'm going to use moderate tension, and you can see hardly any pressure on that tensioner. And everything's springy, so I'm going to apply a little heavier tension. Now, there we go. This is like pin five is binding. He mushed up, but I didn't get any click or anything. Here's pin one binding. And look at that. I got a very tiny fault set. I've never seen any of these before that had um, security pins in them, so that's kind of odd. That might mean it picked in the opposite direction. Let me feel around, see if we can get some counter rotation. If not, I'll get the spinner and we'll spin him and maybe give you lucky enough to get an open. Okay, I'm trying to get around. There's a pin number three that's right at the bottom. And he feels like he's giving me a tiny bit of counter rotation. He is. He's giving counter rotation. Check it out. So let's, let me get under him here. Come on. Pick, pick. No, fell off. Pick fell off. More counter rotation. Wow, he's tough. I have hardly any pressure on that tensioner. I'm still getting counter rotation though. I'm really putting it to it here. Come on. Counter rotation, come on, baby. Okay, I got a nice click and yeah, I think that's an open. Yep, look how long that's been close. All the tarnish in there. I have never run into these. That definitely has a nice deep spool in position number three. So kind of a cool lock. I sure wish I had a key for it. Well, well. Anyway, guys, appreciate your time. Stay safe. Stay legal. Shring, thank you, sir, for this piece of eagle history. Thanks, guys.